Ma, Ma, I am wondering, where is humanity in this world? Humanity? Well, I suppose people have become selfish these days. Anyways, why the sudden observation? No, Ma, I saw a lady, frustrated, dejected. Probably stepping out from an interview. A food was slipped and she fell. She got up frantically and picked up all the papers which were laced in the fine. I went in a hurry to pick a few sheets of the paper. As then I saw her closely, she looked slightly different. While the file in her hand, she walked with a slight limp, and that's when I noticed people nearby giving her a sneering look. Well, you see, son, in this world, People accept either male or female, but the ones in between, I guess, there is not much of an acceptance. But mom, why do you think they're different? Well, you see, there's a bit of science behind me as a female and you as a male. And that lady, hmm, what should I say? These days they are called transgenders. But mom, what does the science begin? I'll explain you. We explain gender and what it means to be transgender. Meet Kayla. Her friend Adam recently came out as transgender, but she's unsure what that means. Adam, happy to explain, lets her know that first she must recognize the difference between gender and sex in order to comprehend what it means to be transgender. Kayla is confused because she thought gender and sex were the same thing. But Adam informs her that they are very different. Sex is what everyone is biologically born as, male, female, or in some cases, intersex. In contrast, gender, which is separate from sexual orientation, is how we express masculinity and femininity. Think of a linear scale with femininity on one side and masculinity on the other. Instead of emoting one or the other based on sex, people can move throughout the gender scale freely and express various degrees of both at will, despite their biological anatomy. Since Kayla's sex and gender identity match, she is considered cisgender. However, transgender people have a gender identity that doesn't match their assigned sex at birth. In Adam's case, he identifies as a trans man, even though his assigned sex was female. Excited to learn more, Kayla wonders, is transgender a third gender? No. Adam reveals that it is an umbrella term that can be used for someone who identifies with the opposite sex, such as Adam, or it can refer to other various genders that aren't exclusively masculine or feminine. This includes bigender, people who identify with two genders, pangender, people who identify with all genders, and even agender, people who are genderless. I didn't know there is so much of science involved in this. If there is a science begin, me being a male, and you being a female, and she being a trans, then I guess the society needs to be that they are also human beings who should be treated equally with equal respect and dignity. Well, you see, the shock incident was an eye-opener and that is when I realized science is all around me.